Yuhu, hello guys, welcome to my fantastic psychology, support and resistance, forex and other amazing stuff. So today we will talk about probability in trading. Yes, in this video you will expect to learn about the probability in trading, in which the probability is against you and which probability is for you. So in this in this video you will learn about how much risky is your trade. For example, how much per risk, what is the odds against you and what is the odds for you. This will definitely link with winning ratio. And also, this is a strategy that I have used and where many professional traders, for example, Ebenezer, use this strategy to increase the, its winning ratio and also to make money in bad market. Yes, in bad market. In bad market, uh, in bad market, it is difficult to, to make money, but uh, with this strategy, it can help it help him to calculate it's, uh, it's, uh, how much he risky his trade, the odds which is with him and which is against him. So in this video, you will learn these new things that I have learned through years of trading and you will, you will be amazed. So watch till the end. This is a very mind-blowing video that I am... I am giving you for free yes so subscribe to the channel it's eager plus action trader also i have reached this code you learn nothing from trading if you think you always be right this is linked with probability that's why i have searched this code so you need to lose okay you need to lose in order to learn so if if you are if you are losing don't worry okay just uh, just never give up and keep going okay so let's see the probability this is known as probability mindset okay so what is the probability in trading so first see there's no 100 percent right there's no 100 percent in trading that is called probability where there is no 100 percent there is sometimes you lose sometimes you win okay let's take a a trade okay let's no let's analyze the market okay imagine you have go to gdp usd okay and you have seen the chart like this okay you you zoom out you see that the the minor the major trend is uptrend and the minor trend is also uptrend so what if you go against the trend okay what happened if you go against the trend okay so if you go against the trend you will have less chance of winning what happened oh god i'm trying to make it long larger okay what happened if you go against the trend what happens is that if you go against the trend here, for example here you place a lower option, what happens is that you will lose. You will lose. Why? Because if you go against the trend, you will have odds which are against you. Okay? The odds which are for you, for example, for you, for you, and against. Against. Against you. So, to place a lower option you have against your heart trend trends and also you have okay you have which are against you you have a strong candle strong candle you have momentum you have a strong buying power buying power so to it is for you you have sellers area sellers area so what has happened here is that you have for example one two three four four over two you have four over two you cannot go with sellers because why because you have four against two the sellers are more is strong okay the sellers is more is strong the odds that are against you for example trend trend represent at least uh, 20 percent at least it manipulates your result to okay to 50 percent okay the trend manipulates your result to 50%. That's why, that's why I told you to never go against the trend. And if you see, you will lose, okay? You will lose. And you see, there are strong buying power. If you go, if you have a go with these sellers, yeah, and you see weekend, you go with sellers, you go with sellers, you go with sellers. In this start, you have already acquired four losses, okay? That's why I told you to go with the trend and also to vary the four against okay the probability of against is higher so you need to to choose a higher probability for example the trend is with us 
okay there are momentum which is with us you have the a strong buying power you see a strong candle which is with us and you have a strong buying power which is with us so it's better to go with the buyers and also if you see the minor trend is uptrend the major trend is the uptrend so you need to go with the trend you cannot you you cannot just uh, place a lower option because this is a seller's area that's why most people use lose because they they just see a seller's area and they just place their trade they see rejection and then just place their trade no 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 you need to consider the trend the trend have a major part in the it has a major part on manipulating your winning and low losses so you need to wait the right opportunity to go with the trend i have made a video go to my youtube channel and watch all my videos this will be very helpful okay yes don't trade in this type of market okay don't trade in this type of market if you use if you trade in this type of market you will lose even me if even me i will lose okay even ebenezer will lose okay so trade on trade with probability that of that or uh, with you not against you if you see here very carefully carefully i don't have many times okay here the the major trend is downtrend okay the minor trend is also down so if you place a higher option what is the winning of higher higher option here for example if you open the chart and you see that uh, you take a trade here you take a trade here so what is the winning ratio here you see you see here and you you just you go with buyers you have already lost you go with buyers you lost 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 so the probability is for example uh, downtrend for example here okay here let me keep very simple for you guys to understand you open the chart and you see that the trend is going down the major trend is going down okay and you take a trace here you take a trace here okay so you have you see this strong candle okay so what is the for you to go with high option you have a strong candle a strong candle is a sign of reversal you have strong candle you have rejection rejection okay so to go with the sellers you have this is for buyers okay sorry buyers so to go with the sellers you have you have let me write it you have downtrend both major and minor trend is downtrend you have strong sellers you have gaps and uh, you have and you have uh, you have uh, mm, you have the market movement market movement so you see you have one two three four against two it's better to go with the sellers you will have more probability to win and don't go against the trend let me talk about the market movement the market is moving like this okay it's moving like this which means that the reversal point is here it is here not here you would not respect this level so you have the market movement and other so it's better to go with the sellers this strategy is very good and it can ha see here see for example here you have already lost if you take a trade here if you take a trade here what has happened you see you have the rejection from sellers okay you have here so what happened if if you place a lower option what happened you will already lose why because uh, because uh, there are some gaps okay there are some gaps and this is a strong bias so to go with the bias you have you have a strong candle okay you have a strong candle you have gap okay you have a new high a new high okay and you have the market movement in moving upward so the the trend is in your favor that's why you need to place a high option to go with the sellers you have uh, sellers area you have rejection just two four against two you better choose four why because it helps you the probability to win this trade is is higher than the two that's why i thought about the prob probability 
you need to know what is your probability this is known as probability mindset in trading so this is directly linked 